Hello and welcome. Right, it's we're going to go into a brief time lapse. I think it's the, probably the best way to handle this that way. The whole session isn't me just feeding the animals and that type. Although I don't know really on this one, it, it doesn't really seem that necessary. I've got the other trailer down as well, so that we've got we're not like using the same one for manure and uh, yeah, like for both sort of things, just for a bit of realism. It's, yeah, I doubt you would use both really so yeah we've got I don't know which one the which one's best really for which this push is sort of good we use this for manure last so we'll grab the manure with this one it's a little bit it really is well, they're both too good really for that job but you've got to do the job haven't you really uh, oh I think we did it haven't we we've already fed oh no 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 we have yeah we've done everything I think it was just five tons left of slurry. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, that's right. So we have. We have I've like confused myself. Right, well, I think we did. Yeah, we did. We switched everything on. We have basically checked that these were really green. So we know that tomorrow morning we're ready to rock and roll. So we've got quite a bit, a few bits and bobs up the shop. Let's just repair this little lot. Oh, well, of course, we've got the forage as well. And our beautiful tractor. So let's stick this close to that. I'm not sure if that's close enough, but we shall see. I do love that uh, the WS. I, yeah, I jumped at that. It really is. It's uh, you think oh, it's it's a really weak track. Uh, yeah, well, it is a road track, so it, it, I think it. I remember rightly. Yeah, it's weakness as it's reverse, and it is like quite a few. But then so it's actually slightly faster than the Vinco mods one that I like a lot. That's six miles an hour. So again, it's like not, yeah, not the end of the world, right? Let's do the same again for this. We could at some point actually. Yeah, I often forget about that. You could actually use the forage wagon for. Um, do indeed want to repair it for that amount although I would have preferred it if it wasn't that amount but you know it was it is what it is beautiful tractor and it really can I think that is enough though because it's now we've got three big tractors admittedly not monstrous we've not got anything this is but this has got the capability of really being well I think it's 450 so there's not that much you need that's bigger than that unless we're going to do monstrous cultivators or things like that and we've got a six meter it's not the biggest like really cedar stroke planter but it's it's passable yeah it's not terrible very an awful lot of uh, foresty type things so really I think we should leave this uh, depends what type of yeah, I know. We'll just bring a tractor back. It's true. We should have really left that there. That would have made more sense. Yeah, it's got it's got a fantastic proper rear hitch though. This has with like electrics. So, but it's a little high, as I found on other Let's Plays. Yeah, it does sort of sit a little high and causes some issues with the. Yeah, if I, if I use the TPS, it's not the. Uh, did you like my Doctor Who? Uh, <laughs> my uh, play to Doctor Who. I thought that was quite. Uh, I, I'm a massive fan of Doctor Who, so I thought, why not? Why not? Alien Jim's made it, so why would why should we not? Right. Um, so then we've done this. I so just need to go through till tomorrow morning. We're going to jump to the house. Yeah, it could take me a few seconds to run there, so... Yeah, we've done everything that we need to do. I've done quite pleased with this. It's not perfect. I was planning on... But it's not necessarily... We can actually do some... Uh, I always think Carlton's one of the most pretty houses with all the details of the little bits and bobs that uh, Oxygen David did. It's fantastic. Right, so... Let's check. I think the straw was a tiny bit of a top up that I don't think it's necessary to do yeah no that's that's fine so we're gonna sleep through till nine o'clock really is optimal yeah 
Yes, I felt this was unfinished, which is why I'm back on here. I'd always planned on wait. I could see that there's a map update, and I thought uh, vehicle leasing costs again. What did I? Did I I thought I'd bought that. Yeah, definitely. Now that's the work. That was a real cracking amount that we earned, though. Right, so finally we own that now. With there be no more leasing costs. Right, so tier bar and slurry, fifteen tons straw, twenty-six milk, nine tons. So it's nine tons a day is what we're getting. So let's sort that out. Let's get this little lot done. Yeah, it's true. It doesn't really take that long, does it? Let's get the animals done, and then we'll get. It doesn't really like. This isn't like 15 tons, and it certainly won't like 20. So let's leave that alone. And I think a bit of light is in order. Yeah, and I put that skip in the right wrong place for the <laughs> for grabbing the deer bar. Now the milk we could probably just about manage. So let's do that. It's nine tons a day, so. I keep sort of thinking, should I time lapse? And I think, Wait, really? Is it really that necessary? Right then, so TMR. Well, we're passing. We're going to need this today. Not necessarily, but we could leave the bales for the grass and we could get the loose with this, couldn't we, really? do like these doing this because they don't I don't think this has got a thing that lifts they just sort of gush out the back here yeah, whereas oh they do actually that one does oh yeah and that's the trouble that's what happens no it was I was I miss that's typical mind you we have got a silo so why should I worry Let's stick that straight in the silo one of these times we'll have a free run so we've got quite a few TARDISes, which I think is highly appropriate. But we've got the uh, the thing for Doctor Who. Yeah, it was my favourite programme as a kid, I've got to be honest. That's fantastic. So, a little tiny bit of straw. Should, I wonder if it'll take bales. I wonder if we could like. But yeah, there are sometimes I. That's one thing that I frequently don't do, and that is a. Uh, often, nearly always do this one particular thing. It's the only time I really often use the H2 Studios. Now, let's let's do that first. Let's get the slurry done. It's a silly way. For a big tractor, this is a very nice steerer. So we should really get 20 odd tons with the bit that we had left. Smashing. Yeah, it's not, it really isn't that. With this only having 60 animals, it's not like it grows. It is what it is. Really, we could. Units at the minute, yeah, and we're also going to have another shed in the field. We could really be really tidy and do that. Now then, straw. And then we'll do the green one for manure. the tad close there we 
took the telly handler out. Still out. Always am. Always it sort of nearly get it right, but not quite. It's a, just a knack of mine. Let's take that. Oh, it doesn't even like the nine so It's a little bit too heavy on it. Oh, yeah, it wanders quite badly. I think we ought to going forwards leave this for other. Yeah, obviously we did used to have to use the bucket, and now we've got uh, my favourite. I don't need to. Not that I'm afraid of bucketing, it was just that being as that one had gone, I obviously put my favourite. I've got to be honest, it is. I usually use the burners on every single one. Again, it's one of those givens, a bit like you'll. Oh, yeah, I am going to try though. I've yeah, been given a massive tip. For, no, it's not not liking that. Not quite close enough. We sort of need to go into it. It's, I think it's the we were talking about levels, and I think this is a case in question because it sort of tips down. It needs to go down to actually get it actually be on the level with that. It's got a better trigger than a lot, though. Yeah, it looks like you. I think you could get this every second month, and it would be fine. Yeah, because it's going to be that pretty much every day. Right. So we leave this one here. So about right. So we've done the straw, done that. We should see that the fields are golden this morning. Indeed we have. Right, okay then so Who's closest? Who's the big ears and see I think? Yeah he is. Let's switch some lights on. And let's go grab a header. We're gonna lease a proper Helianthus. I do love Helianthus. Let's shut these gates because I think we're pretty much finished in this field until next year. Yeah, but our work is done. Obviously, our income now is going to be very sort of slight through the winter. Yeah, it's just going to be a tiny bit, and it won't be a lot of tickles. So that was the, the last sort of big one based upon our actual work. Oh, it's the BJ, isn't it? I think we had a look at it. I think it was a full price one, wasn't it? So, Helianthus trying to think how are we going to so then header trailers yeah we're going to have to no, I'm not sure if the helianthuses are the ones that come with DD Mod Passions their pop ups where they got the additional transport I'm not sure let's have a look uh, oh, he does as well. Excellent. Yeah, because I've always thought they were a little bit short on that sort of particular thing. So we're going to lease you. Oh. No, 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 that is right. Yeah. Yes. Oh, huh? Actually, I don't think you'll find... Oh, there is probably... Yeah, it's... They're probably in the way. Yeah, it's a little bit. Uh, we found that earlier, didn't we? It's yeah. There's there's certain things going to happen with this. We had it before. In fact, it crashed the game. So he's at a, the uh, map maker has added that function so that it's not to crash the game anymore. So it won't spawn if you've uh, yeah. I mean, it's it'll be interesting to see. But uh, no, I think I think that will have been. Tested. Stick this to the side. And then tuck this in. So it is a fairly hefty thing. Oh, yeah, we'll, I, I like to do inside the uh, shop, but there are limits. We've been in there already. 
so any of the steady my passions quite far down there I would say and a big helianthus yes these you yes fantastic so oh you've got to pick it up first for the thing to appear so the only thing that I thought was a little bit strange now the reason that yeah if you're there's an adapter I know there is I've seen it right I'm going to stop the cameras for a minute because this is the type of thing that I always find as I'm sort of creating more and more content I think this is what people hate this they, they want to see everything or, or you want to show them everything because that's just your play style that you don't want anybody to think you've cheated or you want to give evidence that you haven't bought people don't want to see me trawling through a ton of things just to get something so I'm going to uh, stop the cameras for a minute whilst I find out where this attacher is so I'm going to see you shortly right I thought this was perfect really for the best way I thought well why not just grab that instead so that is what we're going to do it's, it is it really is a really good thing for a tractor to go down and actually get all those folks yeah I suppose no no it's not that's what I'm saying it is quite a, an excellent thing this is the simple one but it's just so good for it now it is only yeah it's you can on some of the models stick flooring on and use it but you can't no it's it I think it will be fixed in time but at the present you can't do that no it's a it literally it's just a header trailer which is a well sort of yeah, I, I personally wanted it for like a bit of both and I the fact that it's got you can have three point attached but this is just a header trailer it's just simply grabbing the head up from the shop and without taking the front window out hopefully we're a little bit close it's, it's, yeah it's just it's past. yeah it's literally just the header trailer but it is so fantastic that you don't need the actual harvester oh, with you which I think is very very fantastic so we're going to go into a uh, time lapse to get this actually done because there's a lot too big fields to do and I think I'm going to do it myself. I'm honest. I do think we need, we'll ask the shop to deliver. Um, i trying to think what is best. I think the new 120 because it's cheeky but it's not much different to a 70 tonne. It can sometimes though but for what we really want it's yeah we, we need a bigger but 70 it, they're long it's the only sort of thing that's yeah I'm trying to think is that the best option for us you know that we need to this is a bit of a tight gate I am a bit surprised that there's two single gates and not a double gate somewhere We're getting into this large field because this angle is really quite awful but I, you, know, you recognise it, the driving instincts in yourself and it's not one you can reverse really because you'd like take out your crop as well so this is the best angle and I think you're going to find it's going to instantly hit that left hand side wall yeah oh we've been yeah but, but that's my point that really shows that that's a fault now we can of course and will for this yeah, I mean but it also means you can only use small trailers going in there because there's not it's a, it's a right angle gate it yeah. does like it to really grab the actual handles yeah I do know you can get in our gate and it's set back slightly so I think the true trick is probably to reverse into the single but I still think it's a big field, a bit of an oversight when you consider the beautiful double gates that uh, have been done everywhere else and yet this is a big field so which would imply that you were going to use big implements really by default so just a little, little thing, I'm not saying yeah, that uh, such, there are, I'm sure there are tight gates everywhere but what I'm saying is it's a bit of a mistake when you, in my personal opinion 
when you've give, been given such lovely duplicate. I know there are some modders. I'm on Fairheads where they've been deliberately all a tight, and there's no, yeah, the map maker it was his his in their intentions actually to obviously uh, to make it tough, but it's it, it suits the area as in like yeah the way that they've designed the map. It that's yeah it's just it's gonna be hard to get my angles because it's such a long. If we can do it this time. We should do it. It's just there's not much swing space without you hitting the actual post. Yeah, I'm still going to graze it. I think we're just going to have to ignore this fact and spin it around and then release. Thinking about that. I think we ought to sort of go the other way, thinking about the way that it gets released and dropped like that. Ooh. Yeah, that and that's the trouble. Perhaps shouldn't have had the DD in my uh, Maybe a bit of a mistake. Yeah, yeah, that's a, the, only, it's the only weakness I've ever seen, and I've always thought that's uh, my thoughts. The uh, DD Mod Passion have done it where they just spring out when you buy them now, but it, no, it's still the same as it was before where. It, so that means if you buy them from the shop, they're invariably not going to right, let's switch some lights on. Yeah, they're not going to uh actually if we hug very close to here, yeah, we've had a that bit of a pile of the uh, muck thinned out and now if we remove the trees, had them removed by specialists, shall we say. Then so Helianthus, and we need to grab the. I'm trying to think. Is I'm trying to think. Is there anything like, like a 50 tonner? But there's a few 48s that would suit. Because again, this is a, trying to show that the, there are some of these gates are a little bit tight. Which this is one of them. So let's try and. Leave the poor uh, truck. Let's move him out of the way because he really is in a very ridiculous place. Yeah, let's shift him over here. Give myself enough room to jump out. Right, so then let's set that going and we will grab the. The trailer? No, that, that is, it has got ladders there. What? The, oh, they better go into the back to see, check the grain levels. Hmm. Not sure if I'm going to clock those. I think I will. Ooh, yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. Right. No, I, I could. I was about to say I could have actually started to do the field, but that's Mr. Efficiency. So then, 29. Yeah, we could sort of sort of make that work, but you know, we won't. So twelve meter times three, I think it's I think four. Three is mm, yeah, there's not much in it, but this to turn around. So save course, activate twelve meters. But it's, ah, now this is the one thing. Yeah, for the those course play aficionados and most you, this is one thing that you do. Oh, now that's unusual and I've either done that by mistake as in myself or it has remembered in, normally it's one thing that we found out when we did our around the world in 80 days when you sort of reset yourself onto the map or squeezed it in with the XML even though on the map before it had got them so this map maker has done something that other map makers don't do which is quite good so and the course going to switch the lights off because they just they insist on working in the dark. Right, so then, let's grab said trailer from the shop. And what are we going to go for? Well, we've got this bit of a lull. What are we going to actually buy in the trailer section? I know what we could do. Yeah, that's. The, hmm. There is the patina too. Standard. I always find these the farm tech 
although goods a little bit expensive. Now the Grimmy Pack are fantastic, 35 cubic meters, which is only really the same as I was thinking. Could go this. Uh, yeah, I think I oh, should keep it black. And I'm gonna go for really Christie's backs because they're just just a little bit uh, more go black and I think I'll keep black and yellow five thousand let's reset that let's attach that yeah we were going to do the uh, shed weren't we now I've got the best way in the way a little. I think we'll just stick these on this pile. Yeah, it's strange when you've got a large harvester. It sort of you can then sort of see. Mm, actually, there's not so much room here as you think. But I think this is probably where we will do the uh, shed for the harvester itself. I think that's probably sensible. Uh, oh yeah, it's going to put it together one time. I think I'd like to give this its normal wheels back now as well. Let's just grab the toolbox. Ah, which I've lost somewhere. Oh no, I haven't. I know where it is. Yeah, we left it across the road. We did. Alright, let's put this back together. And I'm going to go get the. No, we're going to do it loose, won't we? We ought to set that going soon as well. Who shall we grab for that job? Let's leave this. Yes, let's wait patiently. It doesn't take that long to do. Stick that. Yeah, I'm trying to learn my lesson from this, but it's weird. They really are sometimes a pain in the backside. They go in the middle where they don't need to turn, but they still go. Oh my love, you've, you, I'm blocked. Not that one. All oh, my life we have got. This is going to be. Yeah. Now then, that is a point. This is going to be a right a bit of a, a bit of a trek. It's only across the road, really. It's just stick the best way which is now our header trailer and we're going to go grab the overtime yes it's a little slow to release this is one but then so are the H2 Studios one so it's if you really like something you'll put up with its little idiosyncrasies if you don't you won't so right time lapse time we have a lot of work to do and this is going to take quite a bit of a uh, doing isn't it so I'm gonna say my words I'm gonna see you guys and gals on the other side
matter what angle I get that particular set, it's not grabbing it for some reason. So it gets, yeah, it's, I don't know, that's a bit weird. It doesn't look wrong either. It looks like you should be able to get it. But yeah, you can see there's obviously a, a, the lie of the land, but uh, stick this here. We'll ask the shot to grab it. Stick this last little bit. I think this is going to take. Yeah, it's. I love this kind of straw. I always have because it's. You've got to think of it as. It's just the physically shifting it off the fields. It's. Yeah, you could really do something like the Emerton actually right next to it, with this type of field because it is just so. So big. It's going to take a long time to get an all this. Yeah, I mean it's, it's good. You don't complain because if we're going to silage, the trouble is. If we're doing straw to silage, it's gonna um at a point I could do that. That would kill two birds of one stone. Thinking about it. Hmm, best place for Yeah. For that particular one. Yeah, I've got two of these that make the newer making mods, uh, but I'm going forwards. Uh, I don't know. Would you do that? I don't know. It's yeah. There's one of these that is really super fantastic, but it's a little bit too super fantastic. So yeah, try I'm trying to think about this. That gateway is almost unusable, really, from that angle. It is. It's it's not a setback. That you see that gate thought about it. This one didn't. It really, it's just for like little. You did not. We wouldn't come through with big trailers because you just couldn't get the swing space for it. So in that case, bearing that in mind, I'm sure I'll put this back in. I took it out because I've been using the other one um, to make manure, which really suits us down to the ground. But I'm sort of think, do you? I, I, yeah, no, I do like this one. It's a bit more realistic. It, it's uh, not got a, oh, it's not that one, lemon manure station. I've just put that in. Uh, that's the one I've been using, the Manure Factory by FSPT. It's a little bit too... It triples what you've got into that. And it sort of goes, just pulls my teeth and sets my teeth on edge. And I think, uh, it's a little bit too... Yeah, not just double, but triple sort of thing. Right, so I believe I should have somewhere ah could have sworn I had put Sir J.M. Cummins one back in maybe I didn't then maybe I thought we will have the triple triple threat I'm sure I've not passed it because it's a quite a distinctive building really so it looks like we are going to have to have that one no, I don't think we should sell. I think we'll... Uh... Yeah, I mean, there are other ones as well. You could literally go... No, not not the do this, though. That's that's my point. Yeah, it's a bit special. Yeah, it's not at the beginning, so... Right, I'll put it in for next session, because I do... It is true, you should stick to your... If something feels a bit wrong, then... Uh, I'm trying to think this set here. I've never used these yet, because they're not a long... I vanquish... But uh, yeah, they're all mixed masters on the yeah, they are. So I'm gonna stick that in next session, I think. And I've got twelve minutes, so I'm gonna do twelve minutes worth of shift lights. Yeah, it's not it's not the best at unloading. Self unload. Right, so uh, yeah, let's just do a few more of these while we can before I pop to work. So I'm gonna go back into a very short time lapse and then uh, we're going to do the rest next session, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
there's no more room at the end. This is the last load. Yeah, and that's with that being enhanced. Now, that's obviously where the FSPT, but I've got to be honest, and I suppose in a way, though, I've just got an upgrade of the JM Gaming to do the same thing, but it still, it still only does what it does. It's, yeah, it's... When you look, its capacity is 67 tons per day ish. Yeah, slightly more. Probably about 74 tons it's going to do. So it's not, and that's enhanced. So it, it's not a big lifter, but it's probably more realistic. So yeah, I think I'll probably. I've got the FSBT one on quite a few Let's Plays, but it's, it always pulls my teeth. It's fantastic, but it's, I just always think, mm, is it, isn't it just a little bit too. Yeah, it's sort of like my. Uh, the GM game one's just as good, but it's it's more realistic, and I like that. And yet, I it's weird how things can sort of yeah, it's pervert, I suppose, in a way. Yeah, like your sensibilities, you can allow something to like woo you and think, oh, that's fantastic. It is fantastic, but is it realistic? That's the real question. So I should say that is yeah, that is us. So 500 tons, which is a, a, an awful lot. There's an awful lot. We could, I suppose fill this and yeah that's the point we could actually take this across two hour we could fill one for our straw for across the road and then obviously we'll work on this yeah, it would help if it was down yeah we can work on this over the winter it's not going anywhere unless of course we would get well no no there's nothing you can plant in october is there i don't think well the grass of course and i'm not converting this to a grass field we've already got a fantastic grass field so it's just a little bit of tidying up on the bits that uh, yeah, I don't like to waste when we've been sort of uh, blasted with such a huge amount of straw. It's amazing. It's just amazing. You never know whether it's going to be this, which I think maybe it's a little bit too realistic, as we've just been saying. Maybe it's a little bit too big. But I do think there's some maps where it's tiny, and I think, hang on a minute, we're we talking about monstrous stalks. If we're talking about this as converting it to fibre, like it's, it'd be a special kind of straw but it still would be fibre and let's be honest if you were going to degrade that to the silage it probably wouldn't be a bad one it would probably take a while and you'd need a chemical agent to break it down but I presume that is what why everyone sort of said well yeah you, kept, you, you could pretty much straw or fibre everything really it's just and I suppose also the other thing is it's dried and we've chomped it so it's not quite as cut and dry as, you know, oh, this can't be done because it's there's a lot of chemical breakdown processes where one thing's broken down into another. Composting is exactly the same process of breaking down, and some of the sort of tree type things that get broken down are quite phenomenal. So it's not that unbelievable, really. Let's so just say a bit of a tidy up just here. We've at least and almost all the way out of it here. Not, I'm not talking about the little speckles. Yeah, you've got to draw the line somewhere, and otherwise you'd be forever going around the field. Let's just cut into that, and I think that will be yours done. And this, I would say there's about the same again. I'd say probably another 500 tons. Ish, I would say a meal. I, I don't think yeah, it's the big fields. Uh, obviously, you, as I said, you really don't ever know if you're going to get this kind of straw. Or, yeah, because it goes from one extreme to the other. Some maps handle it that you get a tiny weeny amount, which is very unrealistic. Especially the Giants maps, they are the worst. Yeah, um, Silver Run handled it like that, and you got the poxiest little about a straw. It's it listened to the enhanced straw mod, but not properly. It uh, did its own thing and decided that uh, you'd got the tiny, weeniest amount of straw that was uh, unbelievable. And then, obviously, there's a lot of maps uh, that handle it where you do get a lot of fibres. Yeah, I tried to soften that because it was like crashing down the hill. I thought that was a little bit too... Oh, uh, no, no, we could keep it in here until tomorrow. So we've done our, uh, oh, we've only done one. That is true, actually. We've got this field here. We're going to do that in another session. It is, and also we've got the straw. We're going to, it's going to be a monstrous amount of straw. It really is. Do we do the French stuff go on this side? Or do we do an omatine of the silage? So it's not all one thing. 
Does the restart? Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out next session. So, all that remains to be said for this particular session that's been yeah, and rather a lot larger than I thought it would be, thanks to the straw. But uh, I do you look a gift also in the mouth? Absolutely not. Am I complaining? Really, I am not. But how did we do with the sunflower, which was the real thing we were actually going for? 40 to 40 tons, 794. I think the farmer Jeb, we're going to stick that down. And we're going to make oil. Yeah, we're going to you know but if we're going to do this we're going to if we're going to sort of grab the farmer jeb for the oil type things and we're going to go canola as well although we've missed the the sewing window for that so probably do the same again next year look out for a helianthus header and uh, go into the oil business i think which you'd, you'd sew the same again wouldn't you? which it's a bit boring but then again if you if that's the way you make your money then that's who cares about boring if that's the way that uh, it's going to be so all that remains to be said is goodbye for now.